Deborah the Nurse There are two Deborahs in the Bible. The first Deborah was a nurse to Rebekah. When Rebekah left her father's house, her nurse traveled with her and Abraham's servant to meet her new husband, Isaac. She was one of the few women to be mentioned in the Bible by name. Genesis 24 verse 59 So they sent away Rebekah their sister and her nurse, and Abraham's servant and his men. In those days a nurse was a valued servant that would have been a confidant to Rebekah. Deborah would have known that Rebekah was scheming to have Jacob blessed instead of Esau. When Isaac blessed Jacob, Esau was angry and threatened to kill him. Rebekah sends Jacob away. Genesis 27 verses 44 to 45 And stay with him a few days, until your brother's fury turns away, until your brother's anger turns away from you, and he forgets what you have done to him, then I will send and bring you from there. Why should I be bereaved also of you both in one day? Isaac and Rebekah were living in Beersheba. Rebekah's brother Leban lived in Paran Aram, also called Haran. This is a 633-mile journey and would have taken weeks on foot or by camel. When Jacob left on his journey, he stopped for the night in the place he called Bethel because he saw angels ascending and descending on a ladder. God spoke to Jacob saying he would give him the land and his descendants would be blessed. Jacob goes to Haran and marries Rachel and Leah. He lives there 14 years and has 12 sons and an untold number of daughters. The Midrash, a textual interpretation or exegesis of the rabbinic texts, says that Rebekah sent Deborah to Leban's house to tell Jacob to come home because Esau no longer wants to kill him. Deborah makes this journey and then returns with Jacob. Years later God tells Jacob to return to Bethel. Genesis 35 verses 3-4 Then let us arise and go up to Bethel and I will make an altar there to God, who answered me in the day of my distress and has been with me in the way which I have gone. So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods which were in their hands, and the earrings which were in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the terebinth tree which was by Shechem. Jacob takes all idols and jewelry from those with him, and buries these things under a terebinth tree. Jacob built an altar at Bethel, and called the place El Bethel. Deborah the nurse died while they were there. She was buried in Bethel underneath a tree, and the tree was given the name Alon Bashuth, which means terebinth of weeping. A terebinth tree would be like an oak tree in America. Genesis 35 verse 8 Now Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died, and she was buried below Bethel under the terebinth tree. So the name of it was called Alon Bashuth. The place and timing make you wonder if Deborah was buried under the same tree as all their idol gods and their jewelry. The Bible doesn't say if the people went back and retrieved these things. It does say the tree called Alon Bashuth was a place of weeping. Were they weeping for Deborah or for the treasures of this world, they were asked to leave behind before they walked into the presence of the one true holy and living God, Jehovah.